Hey guys, Sasha Bain Tech, and I've got a video for you today, and it's about the Gesture Navigation app. And this is an exposed framework module, and it's actually made by the same maker of XBlast. And that's a very cool exposed framework app to check out as well. And I have a link in the description to find both the Gesture Navigation and also XBlast tools. So you'll obviously need to have it exposed installer installed. And again, I'll have a link in the description of how to get to that point. But basically, once you have all that done, you'll have your modules here, have it checked off, and you'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and go into the app itself in Gesture Navigation. Now. I've got the Gesture Navigation demo. This is the free version that you can head over to XDA Forms to get that, or you can go to the Play Store and get the full version. So basically, this is a great way to customize how you want to use your phone. So different shortcuts and whatnot, you can really almost make it do anything you want. So I'm just going to kind of do a few examples here and let you know what it looks like and how to set some stuff up. So let's go to Two Finger. You'll turn the master switch on. So let's do a left swipe. And this can be just to do a bunch of different stuff here. You can see the whole list here. Very cool stuff. It's just it's ridiculous all the options that you got. Basically, in all reality, you don't even have to have a launcher for something like this. You don't even need an app drawer or anything like that. You can just do everything by gestures. So let's just do a screen off just to try that out. And right swipe, do screenshot. Swipe up, let's go ahead and do torch. Swipe down, let's try out do last app. Alright, so let's hit back, two finger, torch just turned on, two fingers to the right, just did a screenshot, and let's do two fingers to the left and it turns the screen off. So it's just, again, it's really cool and like the possibilities are almost endless just because you have two finger swipe gestures and then also three, four, and five. So you can really just manage this how you really want. So again, you turn the master switch on and it's left swipe and let's try power menu. And what's really neat about this is that it activates it right away. So now when you get into multiple fingers, you gotta do it just right there's our power menu so that's pretty cool right swipe let's see what else we can do let's go to an actual app for the other swipe let's just do Instagram that'd be a good one that's <laughs> it's just really cool I like this a lot this is very cool um, just I'm really impressed with how the endless possibilities like every app that you have is in here as an option so you can really make this thing do exactly what you want. Let's try YouTube. All right, so YouTube, swipe up with three fingers, opens it right up. And swipe down, let's just do a random one, see what we land on. Exposed installer. There we go. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's like so cool that it does that. Now, this is a pretty neat feature of Vibrate on Touch, and that kind of helps you understand that you're doing a gesture navigation. So I do like that. Excluded applications. So this is really neat because in case you don't want to open something accidental, you can select as many apps as you want so that way you don't do that accidental gesture. So guys, this has been the gesture navigation demo. This is available over at XDA Forms for the free demo version, but I definitely encourage you to head over to the Play Store and download it. Support this developer, he's doing really good work. Again, he's also the guy that has made XBlast Tools, a very popular exposed framework module. So guys, all right guys, this is Josh of Bain Tech. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, so you can see more videos like this.